What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raiga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a weekly reading for the week of November 19th through the 25th for all star signs and I love these weekly readings it gives us a chance to peek in on the upcoming week and let us know how we can make it the best week possible and uh, this is going to be an interesting week we're coming off of new moon and Scorpio energy and that's a very interesting energy. Uh, it gives us a chance to manifest and to create and set our intentions for the upcoming month. Uh, and we've also got ha uh, not Halloween, that's over. <laughs> we've also got Thanksgiving on the horizon this week if you're an American. And that's a chance to give and, and, and share in love and, and um, gratitude. So uh, a lot of opportunities for some great manifestations this week. So let's dive into it. We're going to be using this sacred... Sacred? What? My words are all mixed up. We're going to be using the Psychic Tarot of the Heart today to do our three-card look at the Week Ahead reading. Oh, hello. And uh, we're going to ask it uh, what message it has for us for this upcoming week. What message for us this upcoming week? Give me a moment to center myself and shuffle the cards. Alright, that ought to do it. We will cut the deck and deal out three cards. What I like to do is look at these cards individually and then go through at the end and see what the, the message is as a whole since they usually tell a, a cohesive message. And the first card we're going to look at is this one. And we've got the Sacral Chakra. Okay. So the first thing that comes to mind here is that this week is going to be an opportunity for you to balance and expand your Sacral Chakra, your Orange Chakra. This is the place where your creativity comes from. It's the place where your willpower is located. And it's a chance for you to to be creative and express yourself in maybe it's an artistic way, maybe... Oh, you know, I, I'm not going to list all the ways that people are creative. You are creative in your own unique way. And the source for your cre creativity comes from your sacral chakra. And uh, if you feel as though you're not being very creative right now, then some chakra balancing is probably in the works, is in the future for you. That's something that you might need to do if you're not feeling very creative. We're all creative in our own expressive ways. And if you're not feeling at all creative, then there's probably something wrong with your sacral chakra. This is prob it's probably not active enough, or you know, maybe some of your other chakras are out of balance and they're, they're overactive, causing uh, maybe you're overlooking your, your sacral chakra a little bit. So uh, one thing to do this month, if you aren't feeling the creative, this week excuse me if you're not feeling the creative vibes is to surround yourself with some orange colors and you know this could be your clothing this could be I don't know surround yourself in orange uh, one of the best orange things to surround yourself in is is in crystals and the orange sacral chakra crystals that resonate at that chakra are gonna be very beneficial for you this week such as sunstone uh, maybe carnelian uh, maybe some calcite uh, all these crystals are going to help to expand your orange uh, sacral chakra and, and help you to be more creative and and to be more assertive and to um, really stand up for yourself and stand up for what you represent and stand up for your creativity and express your true uh, manifestation in this in this world and express yourself cleanly and clearly so definitely going to be a chance for creativity coming this week so look out for that uh, the second card here, this middle card, we've got Moving On. All right, the, the feeling I'm getting from this card, it's got an Eight of, eight of Cups vibe to it, is, is uh, changing the direction. And, you know, changing direction is something that's very difficult for a lot of us. We, we're, we're so used to moving based on momentum. We're so used to say, oh, you know, we'll just see this through. We started this. We got to end it. But this card is saying that, you know, there's no shame in suddenly deciding, you know what, that is not for me. I may have started something, but I realize now that it's not for my highest good. And if something's not for your highest good, you got to move on. You got to switch directions and be willing to walk away from it. And, you know, society teaches us that that is a failure. If you don't 
complete what you started, you have failed. But that is not the case because um, if you have the maturity of consciousness to realize when something is not right for you and be able to change it and move along, that is uh, something that takes a lot of a lot of uh, power, a lot of willpower, a lot of consciousness power, right? That, that's something that's not easy to do. And uh, it's something that's, you know, it requires you to say, okay, maybe this was a failure. Maybe I failed in some way, but uh, those of us who are conscious know that our failures are the biggest lessons that we can learn, and they're going to teach us the most. And our failures are the things that are improving us the quickest. And uh, don't look at it as, oh, it's a failure. I'm a failure. Uh, you know, I suck. <laughs> okay, that's not the way you should look at it. You should say, I tried something. I gave it my best. It didn't work out. It's not for my highest good. I'm going to move on, but I'm going to take the lessons that uh, you know are surrounding this failure, and I'm going to incorporate them into my life so that this failure doesn't happen again in the same way, so that I don't have to keep learning this lesson. You learn the lesson, and you move on, and there's no, there's no shame in that. There's no failure in that. If you've learned the lesson, then you have succeeded. So if there's something in your life this week that becoming a parent that is no longer serving you something that's you know just not exciting you anymore something that's just kind of bringing you down there's no shame in saying that's enough of that i'm moving on uh, it, it takes a very wise and knowledgeable and, and a person who's really in control of their life to be able to do that uh, but don't forget that you you do need to learn the lessons that are inherent in that failure right okay and the last card we've got share the love and of course, this is making me think of Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, this this week is an opportunity for you to really show your gratitude, show your appreciation for others, show the love that you have for people. Uh, it's kind of sad that, you know, at least in the United States, we, we spend one day out of the 365 tr truly being grateful for all the things we have. I mean, this should be an everyday occurrence. But what I want you to do is if you are an American and you uh, are, do celebrate Thanksgiving and you feel the love that is being shared and, and expressed on Thanksgiving. I want you to realize that this can happen every single day. This is not something that you have to wait for your family to gather around a bunch of food where you're going to be gluttonous. You don't have to wait for that in order to be grateful, in order to spread love, in order to show your appreciation and gratitude. Do it every day. So when you do it on Thanksgiving, really take it all in and feel the energy of it is my advice to you and then bring that energy to friday okay when everyone's trampling trampling each other in walmart bring that energy to friday and keep that energy going on friday then bring that energy to saturday and start to make a habit of showing appreciation of showing love of showing gratitude because this week is going to be a week for you to really build on the positive energy that thanksgiving usually brings okay so sp share the love spread the love and and you know, realize that in order to get love, you have to give it. In order to give love, you have to get it. So keep that cycle continually flowing. And I think you're going to have such a great life. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So let's look at these cards as a whole. We've got the sacral chakra moving on and share the love. And I think this week is going to be an opportunity for you to come into your own. For you to break away from maybe some cords that people are, have corded into you. The energetic cords, I mean. Uh, where you know people making you do not making you but encouraging you to do things that you don't want to do that uh, aren't aren't in alignment with what your goals are and uh, you know we may feel indebted to these people because they've showed us love in the past but it's very important to realize that you are a sovereign being anything any energy that's bringing you down is something that needs to be removed from your life because the, if your idea of success is ascension then you can't be bogged down in, in low vibrational energy so if someone's bringing you down stand up for yourself be or, or someone or something is bringing you down this week stand up for yourself really see that orange chakra growing and you're going to come into your own and you're going to feel safe and you're going to feel vindicated in just being more assertive for yourself and that means moving on moving away from things that are no longer serving you but it also means showing gratitude for what you do have and, and showing appreciation for everything that you do, do have so i do feel like change is on the horizon this week if you can stand up for yourself if you can bring yourself into a state of self-confidence and sovereignty to the point where you're going to start to make decisions that are in your best interest and your interests only not not worrying so much about the interest 
interests of others. So this is going to be a great week for you to build on some gratitude and, and focus on things that are, are meant for your highest good. So um, I wish you guys all a great week. Remember to just uh, embody that sacral, uh, sacral chakra energy, that orange energy. Surround yourself with some orange crystals if you've got some. And um, iron pyrite is another great one. There's so many great uh, sacral crystals and a lot of the ones that resonate with the uh, solar plexus and the roots will also resonate with the sacral chakra. So look into that, you know, tourmal black tourmaline, um, obsidian, they're all, all going to help the, the sacral chakra in, in, in their own little special way. So you know, those lower, uh, those lower chakra energy crystals are going to help a lot this week for you to get into your own but the number one that comes to my mind is sunstone that's my favorite indian sunstone oregon sunstone too to a, a different degree but i really love indian sunstone do i have time to show you one it's not the best lighting in fact is this terrible lighting <laughs> hold on let me see if i can get Maybe this will work. <laughs> That's too much. Uh, but that gives you the idea. This is a, a crystal that you could be working with this week, and it's going to help you. Just blast it with light and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, there's some um, Labrador essence. There's some sparkles in the sunstone. It's really a beautiful crystal. Anyway, that is going to be the reading for this week. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, remember, guys, to leave a like if you did enjoy this reading. If you got something out of it, it lets me know that uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to say about this upcoming week, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really do. And if you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos I release, including these weekly readings and bi-monthly tarot scopes and deck reviews and all sorts of different readings. So if you want to stay up to date on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. And if, of course, if you want a reading of your own, you know where to find me on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description below, and we can tap into your energies and get to the bottom of your issues. All right. I want to thank you all. I want to wish you all a great week. Happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. And, uh... Keep that love rolling, right? It's not a one day a thing. Do it every week. All right, guys, leave a like if you enjoy this. Happy tarot. Peace.